Today's reading is taken from the book of Luke, chapter 1, verses 1 to 17. And I'll jump in at verse 5. When Herod was king of Judea, there was a Jewish priest named Zechariah. He was a member of the priestly order of Abijah, and his wife Elizabeth was also from the priestly line of Aaron. Zechariah and Elizabeth were righteous in God's eyes, careful to obey all of the Lord's commandments and regulations. They had no children because Elizabeth was unable to conceive and they were both very old. One day, Zechariah was serving God in the temple for his order was on duty that week. As was the custom of the priests, he was chosen by lot to enter the sanctuary of the Lord and burn incense. While the incense was being burned, a great crowd stood outside praying. While Zechariah was in the sanctuary, an angel of the Lord appeared to him, standing to the right of the incense altar. Zechariah was shaken and overwhelmed with fear when he saw him. But the angel said, Don't be afraid, Zechariah. God has heard your prayer. Your wife, Elizabeth, will give you a son, and you are to name him John. You will have great joy and gladness, and many will rejoice at his birth for he will be great in the eyes of the Lord. He must never touch wine or other alcoholic drinks. He will be filled with the Holy Spirit even before his birth. And he will turn many Israelites to the Lord their God. He will be a man with the spirit and power of Elijah. He will prepare the people for the coming of the Lord. He will turn their, the hearts of the fathers to their children and he will cause those who are rebellious to accept the wisdom of the godly. Now this story speaks of faithfulness. Zechariah and Elizabeth must have been praying for such a long time for a child. And now it says that they were very old and they're probably thinking, well, it's not going to happen, you know, because we're past it. But it says that they were careful to obey all of the commandments and regulations of the Lord. And I think that's the key. So despite the fact that they were praying and not seeing an answer to prayers, they continued to be faithful. They continued to serve. And that for us should be an encouragement and to spur us on. Because sometimes we can be praying and not seeing answers to prayers and we're wondering, is God even listening? Is God still there? Does he still care? But it's important to remember our timing is not God's timing. His timing is perfect. And we just need to continue to be faithful. So today, be encouraged. <laughs>